Yo, Crawl here, and welcome back to the next episode of our music bot tutorial. And well, I thought we're not close done, or not completely done, because uh, right now we just basically when we search a video, all we really do is return the first and then just immediately execute it, and that's not really a search, right? I mean, we're not we're not make a full search today either, but we will attempt something similar to a search, right? So what we're going to do is going to make a 10 first. So we get the first 10 results of the YouTube API. Then we can basically already copy our template we have down here because uh, what we get back from it here, and this is very important, you need to just log a bit. Right, this is return videos, and then we do console.log. Like the moment you log, you will realize a lot of things very, very easily. So if you type in another play, Justin Bieber, baby, you can already see what we get back. It's just a big array of objects, right? And now you see the structure of it. So we remove this again. We can put in here our template we already pre-written, but we want to indent it completely to the bag. So we do song dot uh, song selection, right? We call it. And here it's not the server song uh, so songs. Here it's the videos. We're gonna map them out. We're gonna get the video one video out of it. We're gonna call this video two, so we don't have to overwrite anything. And now we basically are already set for now we do please provide a value to select one of the search results ranging from 1 to 10 so now this will already work we're gonna return here so if we go to discord you can see if we do end up play just in Beaver, baby. This is exactly what we need and what we want. And it's a bit hard to read because we don't really have a value here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a temporary value here and call this index. We set this to zero. Now you can set this to one if you want, but you need to be careful here. The moment you pass in the index here, if you did set it to one, you need to increment after it. If you set it to zero, you need to increment before. We set it to zero, so we need to increment before we do anything. Now we have a nice number display at least. So if we do that again, you can see from one to 10. Now, if we go back here and check, remove that check here, because we already laid out everything and we, we, we saw the end result we will get we need to think about how to get a uh, value back from the user now because we're going to use another await in here we're going to do another try and catch in here this will complain about uh, this will complain to us so we do this line disable line uh next line next line, next line. Uh, max depth those are just my eslint rules right most certainly maybe not will not error for you guys so we do more response equals await message dot general await messages here we do message to because so we already have a message to find message to con message to dot content is bigger than zero and message dot content is tinier than eleven. Now what this does is it checks if the message the user entered is bigger than zero obviously because we want one to ten or tinier than eleven because we want one to ten why we do not need to parse into this is because it's javascript it would just do it for us it's just a value from one to ten so we don't really need to call parse in and like it's not it's not anything super 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 special so for max matches we're looking we're looking only for one result uh for time we're gonna do uh, 10 seconds you can reduce this if you want right uh, for for the errors, we're gonna pass in 
time. So what this does is it looks only for one match, and if it's a match, it will return immediately. If if you don't enter anything for 10 seconds, it will error and will go into the catch down here. And what we do here is we do console.error, the error, then we do uh, return message to channel that send, and we just send a generic message like no value, actually no or invalid value entered canceling video selection, right? So after that, what we need to do is we need to get the video index. We can already do, do that practically, but we're gonna do we're gonna make another constant here just for for sake of having things ordered. So we do video index and get response up first because it's only gonna be one anyway, and get the content. We are going to parse int this though because we're going to pass this down there in the array so we call well, parse int and in here we just do video index minus one minus one why because obviously the video index if we press one it will be zero so we want to have the first video but the first video in an array index is always zero, but well, the user entered one, so we need to subtract by one, if that makes any sense. I'm shitty at explaining, but you may you may follow this explanation, which was really, really shitty. So now we type this in, select the Justin Bieber song because we love it, and it plays, beautiful. Now, we can do this with anything, really. So we do add Shiran and select Thinking Out Loud. And we just, you know, Q. And if we do it again, we don't type in anything. We just wait for 10 seconds. It will cancel. If we do it again and type in like 12, 14, 15, 11, or oh, I typed in one, whoops, and play just to be right. So if I just type in wrong values now, right? Anything that's above 10 doesn't really matter, or if it's zero, right? One work item, no value or invalid value entered cancelling. And that's basically it. That's it. We're done. I I hope you enjoy having a selection now. And we, you guys will see me next video and I will see you guys next video. I'm not sure when it's going to be because I'm pretty much out of ideas for this music. But now we are still below 200 lines of code with pretty much a lot of things covered that a lot of big music worlds have out there. So if you have any ideas, leave it in the comments below because I don't really know what to do now anymore. So see you guys in the next video.